Well, good morning everyone and welcome once again to Ed's Orchids. Uh, not a lot to show you, but uh, do you remember those cat layers that uh, a, a friend of mine brought in for the bugs and all sorts? Well, uh, we're just going to have a quick look at them. I think I laid them on its side around about a fortnight ago, something like that. So we'll just see what's happening. There may be nothing, but there may be something. So uh, we'll just pick one up and have a look. Right, as you can see, the uh, the roots are all a bit uh, a bit straddly. So what I do there, I I cut them off until I find I come to the uh, the green part of the of the root. What have we got back here? Now, there's not much happening here, but there's uh, something going on there. But a bit too early to tell. So we'll put that on one side, and we'll call that a, a bit of a failure. We'll have a look at this one, and there we are. Same situation with the roots, only there's, we've got one growing there, just on the edge. You see it? Where are we? There, just a root growing there. And any nubbins on them? Yep, there's a little nubbins growing there you know, by that route. So, that's not a complete failure, so that could be okay. Have a look at another. What's this one here? This is another one with those roots like this. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll uh, put it on a pedestal and I'll just uh, show you what I do with the roots. Well, here we have one, and you can see the roots here. What I do with these is... Uh, just chop them until you get to a green part of the uh, shoot. No green part there, so it all comes off. We'll try another one. No green part there, so that comes off. Let's try these. Just trim them down a bit to start with. See if there's any any green. No. None on there, so that comes off. So we'll keep chopping away until we find some green. Let me have a look at this. Yep, that was a green tip, so I'll leave that root alone. No green there, so we'll cut that off. Yep, bit of green there, so we'll leave that off. We'll leave that, oh there's another one here isn't there? We're going to have no roots left, but well, it doesn't matter. They're not doing any good being like they are, so they might as well come off. So we'll leave that on one side. There's a little bit of a nubbins there. You see? A little bit of a nubbins there. That coming on. Another one there. Another one there. And uh, and we've got a good root there, so that should come on okay. Just turn it round, make sure there's nothing else. Yep, there's another little nubbins there too. So that's coming along okay. Now this is the one I've trimmed virtually all the roots off because they were all dead, there was no green at all. But what we have here is a nubbins there, one here, one there, and another one there. So uh, fingers crossed that should be sending out some roots in a, a, a little while. Uh, this is another one where we trim the roots off to see if we get to some green. Yep, there's a bit of green there, but you can't see it because I've moved the camera. Bit of green there, so we'll leave that. No green there, so we'll have that off.
and there's green there, where, there. So we'll leave that like it is. We've also got a nice uh, growth coming along here. So that's doing okay. And it looks like a new root shooting out from there. And we'll make this the last one and uh, same again with the roots just cut back until you find green in fact I'll do this then I'll come back to show you how many roots have disappeared well here we are again and I've trimmed these uh, roots off considerably a lot of dead ones and uh, if they're dead you might as well take them off but then I've trimmed these back to uh, where you get a bit of green growth so uh, that should come okay in a bit. Shouldn't be so bad. Not so many, uh, no new nubbins on I don't think. Unless there's one there. Yeah there is. But uh, we'll just leave them on one side. But don't forget if you're trimming you're all your cat layers. And cat layers they always produce new roots every year. And get rid of the old ones. So uh, don't be frightened. If you're repotting a cat layer don't be frightened to trim all the roots. OK, we'll give you another update on these in a few weeks' time. OK, bye. Thanks for watching. Bye.